Okay, I am at summer.myacpl.org and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the online site for our summer reading program. So as you can see over here on the right, we just have some basic information about the program. Basically, you're going to log books that you read, digital programs you attend, and challenges you complete to earn points. And those points are going to get you drawings for prizes at the end of the summer. And we also have a link here so you can find all those digital programs. Okay, so if this is your first time using the site, the first thing you're going to want to do is create an account by clicking on register. And that's going to bring you over to the create a new account page and right here at the top it's going to explain a couple of options for you. One is to create a family account, which is really convenient if you have more than one kid in your family who would like to sign up, you can do that all with one username and one password. Um, and that lets you manage them all together. The other option is, of course, to just have an individual account. If you just have one kid or teen who would like to sign up, then you can do it that way. But either way, you're going to fill out the same form to start with, and then you can just decide if you want to add more than one user on the next page. So the first thing you'll need to do is select a username. I went with I love to read appropriately enough then you will just need to put in your email this is how you're going to get updates and also one way we can get a hold of you if you win a prize at the end of the summer then you'll need a password so that you can log in in the future And then you will need to put in first name, last name. So if you are under 13, this is your parent filling this out and the parent's name would go here. If you are 13 or over, you can just go ahead and put your own information. Now you're gonna wanna choose your home branch because we are gonna do the prize drawings based on branch. So that is important for the end of the summer. There's an optional phone number field if that's how you'd like us to get a hold of you should you win a prize. If not, we'll just email you. So here's the agreement that says that if you are filling this part out that you are 13 years or older, um, and then it'll let us add the child information on the next page. So this is the page where you add information for each individual reader who will be participating. If you are just registering one kid, then you'll only need to fill out this page. If you wanna add more kids to a family account, you can do that on the next page. So we'll just put in the name of the child we want to register, age, and the last grade that they completed. You can go ahead and hit next. And then we're going to choose which program we want to register them for because we do have three different age groups with different challenges and different prizes. So we have preschool, kids and teen and the age groups that we have assigned for each of those are under there for the kid I put in we're going to choose the kid program now it's going to ask if we want to add another reader so if you were doing just um, a family with one child you would say no but I'm going to say yes and I'm going to add another reader I'm going to make um, a reader a little older this time and register a teen. So I'll go ahead and select their grade as well. And because I went with an older reader, I'm going to select the teen program this time. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna add another reader. This time I'm going to say no, that family is complete. And that takes me to the reader dashboard, which is the home page once you are logged in. So you can see a lot of different things here. One thing you can see at the top is a message that you have already been awarded a badge. Um, you get a badge just for signing up and we'll talk about those in just a minute. But first you can see here on the left um, under that message that there is a current reader box. It shows both the kids that we registered and Jane is currently the one who is selected. And Jane is ready to log a book that she has read. So over here in the middle, we have the box for that. 
it's really simple. You just enter the title of the book you've read. You can put the author in, that is optional. There is the option to rate the book. She really loved The Cat in the Hat and then click Submit. Now, once she submitted that book, it added points. You can see over here, one book is worth 20 points. It also gave her a message that she earned a badge and reached level one. So if you scroll down here, you can see the badges that she's collected, one for signing up and then a level one badge with Puss in Boots there. You can earn lots of different badges as you go along. You can also earn points by doing things other than reading books, and you're gonna find that in the activities box down here on the bottom right. So it has lots of different things. It has challenges that the librarians have set for you, um, things you might need to go outside for, craft projects, games, cooking, all different things. And these are based on age groups, so they might look different depending on what age child's uh, page you're on. But one thing you can definitely do is attend one of the library's virtual programs. So you just click claim, it's all in the honor system. And once you've said that you attended that program, you get the badge that corresponds to attending programs and you add 10 points to your total. You can see that it's now 30 points up there. The third way that you can earn points is right here. There's a box that says enter a secret code. And those codes are gonna be things that might be hidden on the library's social media, um, in the library itself. So you have to keep your eye out. But once you find one, you can just type it in here and hit submit. And you're going to get a message that your code was accepted and you found a secret code which earns you a badge and in this case the points were such that it bumped us up to level two so you can see that the points have increased to 50 there that's the threshold to get into level two and you can see that you earned a secret code badge you also earned a level two badge in this case Okay, so that is the basics of everything that you need to know to participate in the online reading program. But there are just a few more features up here that I will show you at the very top of the page. You can see there is a tab that says reviews. And if you click on that, that gives you the opportunity to create a review of one of the books that you read. Clicking on create review gives you this little form. You can put in the title, the author, your name, if you would like to share, that's optional. And then you can put in what you thought of the book so that others can see if maybe they would like to read it as well. The other feature up here at the top is the reading log. And if you click on that, it will show you all of the books that you have logged so far. So you can keep track of what you've read over the summer. It also shows the badges that each child associated with that family account has read. So we have Jane's badges and Bob's badge down here, and you can see them both on that page. As we scroll up here, you can see all of those options as tabs at the top and clicking on home will get you back to the dashboard where you can log books and add points. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know to participate in the Athens County Public Libraries Summer With Your Library online reading program. We hope you have a lot of fun with it, and we can't wait to see what you do. Have a great summer.